Hi all and uh, welcome to uh, Wednesday Worship and uh, my name uh, is Ian Cooper. Um, the title for this uh, session is, uh, for this short talk, is Leisure Time and Appreciating the Wonders of Creation. Hopefully you'll find this engaging. Uh, I do apologise for my uh, inability to be technically uh, adept as it were, I'm rather technically inept. Uh, if I was able uh, to be more technically advanced, uh, I would have put lovely background of God's creation in the background uh, rather than my, my wall in my little office at work where I spend so much of my time working uh, from home as I do. So I say the inspiration uh, for, for this um, talk really came from our old rector John Coyne a few years ago uh, and it was actually at an AGM uh, where, believe it or not, uh, I went along to the AGM and for a change I was actually listening more than I perhaps have done over the years of sitting in many AGMs in various guises. And I remember something really interesting because I went home to my wife Pam uh, and she didn't believe uh, me when uh, what, uh, what John said to us. But basically towards the end of the AGM he was talking about the pressure and stresses, stresses that life presents to us. And he, made, he told a story of one of his friends and the moral of the story was that we should all play more golf. Well, that was music to my ears, bearing in mind that I am a golfer myself. Uh, and being told by the, your rector that you should play more golf was absolutely fantastic. I thought, this is for me. And I actually uh, listened intently to the rest of the AGM. So, of course, when I went home and told uh, Pam, uh, she was at home, unfortunately couldn't go looking after the boys, uh, our two young boys at the time um, I said you'll never guess what John's just said he told me that I should be playing more golf you know when we have these uh, messages that uh, when we say that people are speaking directly to us and God's speaking directly to us um, and obviously Pam didn't believe me she she thought I was talking nonsense as I normally do I say that in a joking manner but it got me thinking at the time about the stresses and pressures of life. And then I reflected back on my life, as it were, within my leisure time. And yes, uh, Pam would say I do play too much golf. I wish I did. Uh, but yeah, I've been known to, uh, to tread the golf courses around the country from time to time. And it got me thinking about my leisure time and how I have really appreciated when I reflect back uh, on the wonders of creation. When I found my life particularly stressful, uh, when there's been times for rest and relaxation, particularly on holidays uh, or particularly on downtime and leisure time, I found myself looking and reflecting on God's wonderful creation. There's three main areas where this has happened. Uh, one is when I do play golf. I've been known in the summer months uh, when it's nice and warm and the light, late nights to go and play golf on my own. Uh, at nine o'clock at night for the last hour just as it's getting dark that's solace and I, as I wonder I remember a great bar um, golf club and the views to the bar beacon over the fields is a wonderful sight and just to be in the quiet and in the solace I found real great encouragement from playing golf and being on the golf course and the wonderful views again of the courses I've played around the country I've also found it when I've been running uh, in my younger days, not so much with my knees as they are now, but in my younger days uh, when I used to go on holiday abroad uh, and those of you who have been involved in uh, the early morning hunt, uh, fight for a, a bed as it were around the swimming pool will appreciate this, that you get up at the mi middle of the night sometimes about half five, six o'clock uh, and then and put your towels down and have a fight with the next person as we were to get the best spot for the day. We've all been there, haven't we, if you've been abroad. Uh, but I used to then put my towels on and then go for a run when Pam and the boys were asleep. And just as the sun was coming up along the coastline, of whether it was Mallorca or Portugal, wherever we've been, how wonderful that is to be running at first light in the morning along the coastline of, of the world, a particular country I've been there. But also walking as well. I am a big fan of the uh, Lake District and what all the Lake District provides and the hills and the mountains. And again, I've got friends who live up in the Lake District and try and get up there at least once a year to go clock walking mountains. And the wonders that that's given me, I love it where we're out in the fresh air on our own and there's no signs or health and safety. Uh, it's you and the elements. And I've had great uh, fun over the years walking the Lake District. So three areas, golf, 
I'm conscious my time is up, so I'll get on. Golf, uh, running and walking and the wonders of creation. I'm going to give you a challenge. Um, we're all restricted in various ways uh, at the moment in terms of where, what we can and can't do and who we can do that with. But challenges for, to go for a walk or for a run uh, to the hills if you can. Now, you may not be uh, conscious of maybe speaking to people who can't physically uh, able to get out there or aren't able to run. So don't do any uh, do yourself any mischief, as it were, and any uh, harm to yourself. But I'll guarantee that you'll feel better, first and foremost. Going for a walk, I'm a great believer in getting some fresh air and taking exercise is uh, fantastic for our well-being. Not just that, but also when you go on this walk, whether you can go into the countryside or even it's around the local area in Aldridge, try and focus on God's creation and the wonders. Look at the trees, look at nature. And it's amazing how much solace and how much um, I've found and I've I've got from just appreciating God's creation. I'm only going to read two verses to you from Psalm 121, verses 1 to 2. Really um, well-known portion of scripture, uh, really, and I found this a real comfort uh, over the years. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So as I close um, and give you that challenge uh, about exercising and going for that walk, look at it, even if you think that's the worst thing you to ask me to do, because it's not something for me. See it in a positive light in terms of God's creation. And as we know, whatever the uh, undoubted challenges that we've all faced in the last few months this year, and also the challenges that we know we face in the next few months and the uncertain future, take comfort that uh, from Psalm 121 that the Lord watches over us and he will help us and guide us. Thank you, guys.